Hello. Today I am going to speak about what is realistic painting from artist point of view. Many people or amateurs think painting like a photograph, the way you are seeing a photograph which is taken by a camera. An artist paint like that, they think it is true realistic painting. It's a wrong notion because what is realistic painting from artist point of view from artist point of view is he would like to create a painting on canvas the way our eyes will see the subject or nature. This is actually his concept of painting a realistic or creating a realistic illusion on canvas. When a camera takes a scene, it records everything in that frame. Here, 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 every area, nook and corner, from center to nook and corner, it records every detail. That is, camera will do. But when it comes to human eye, we won't see like that a scene. First, we see, when, just imagine when you go to some outdoor, some location, some interesting area, your eyes will look at some interesting point in the total scene. It may be a color, it may be a trace, it may be some subject, whatever it is. Your eyes will look at that subject, that area, that subject, that point first. Your eyes will stay there some moments. Later, they will move for they will move adjacent areas. Adjacent areas. They will move from that point to adjacent areas, both sides. After some moments, it will go for remaining areas to look a picture as a whole. This is the way our eyes will see a painting. Yes, sorry, a scene. Our eyes will see a scene in nature. Not only a scene, when you see a person, you see like that. First you see his eyes, nose, a glance. Then you will go for remaining ears and other areas. Then you go for background. This is the way you will see even a human figure, even a person. Just the next time you observe what I said true is not. So, I am telling you once again, from artist point of view, you would like to paint a scene on canvas or a portrait on canvas the way our eyes will look at the object in reality, in life. That is his sense of, his meaning of painting a realistic illusion on canvas. This is the way it will go. First, you call it focal point. Next, this is the adjacent, adjacent area. Adjacent area. Next, the whole area is peripheral, peripheral area. This whole area is peripheral area. In three stages, our eye will see a scene or a person. First, it looks at where the interesting point lies. It, again I am telling, it may be a color, a shape, a subject, a figure, whatever it is. 
first it look at that area that you call focal point then it goes to the adjacent area that is second level next it is it goes to peripheral area third in peripheral area you won't see much detail because that's why we call it a peripheral area we won't see much detail just observe yourself you are seeing a scene like this the the center point you see clearly then the adjacent areas you won't see much clearly then remaining surrounding areas you won't see just your eye the edges of your eyes will look at it just as a glance you won't record your eyes won't record any details there that is peripheral area so once again i am telling in these three steps our eye will see a scene so artist job is to paint these three steps on his canvas then his painting looks realistic it will have realistic illusion and moreover it appears an artist work a work of art to an artist is very important to create a feeling when viewer sees his work he has to feel it's done by an artist not by a camera if he feels is like a photograph as an artist you are a failure note this i will show you an example of one of my painting watch i had done to achieve this effect let us see see this is focal point area when we see the scene first we look at this area we will our eyes will stay some time there or some moments i call it then they will move from this area and they came to the next area 
this area this area next they will look at the remaining area this area you call it focal point area or i u area where you are sees at first glance after that you will go for second layer you call it here you see lot of details all the details you will see here because you are looking at it consciously with interest because it attracts you there is some light there is some interesting shapes or color whatever attracted you you look at that area for few moments for few moments then you will move next area there you won't see much details semi details are there after some moments you will go for remaining that area and this area this is you call it peripheral area because our eyes the edges will see that area not this view they look at that this peripheral area from this corners that's why you call it peripheral area peripheral view when you have to create a realistic painting this is the approach you have to follow it because our eye will see the nature or a see or a person that way if you paint totally with details is like taking a photograph from camera camera i will see the total area in equal view nothing will attract it predominantly so if it captures total area then you will see the details here 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 everywhere from a photograph which is taken by camera but human eye won't see that way it sees focal point and center area next very very area if you want to create a true realistic painting how the eyes will see the subject the nature the scene this is the way you have to paint this is you call it artist way of seeing the subject that's all